Hi everyone, Matthew Bell here from the Contemporary Balron. In this episode, we're going to talk about the in-stroke, one of the three basic tipper strokes that you'll use on the Balron. Now everything that we play on the Balron is made up of one of the three basic strokes. And the in-stroke is really unique among the basic tipper strokes in that it isn't executed as part of a glancing or arcing kind of motion, but instead it takes on a much more direct line approach, coming directly into the skin and directly back out away from the skin. In this way, the in-stroke is a lot more like a conventional rebound stroke on a snare drum if you're a percussionist. Now, it's the most economical stroke in terms of conservation of energy, and it also happens to get the most toneful sound out of the Balron with the least amount of work. The in-stroke is sometimes called a tap stroke, but I prefer to call it an in-stroke as that's the direction that it moves towards the drum. Now you'll hear people use the term double down, which really refers to the use of an upstroke or a downstroke followed by an in-stroke, like we're about to work on. Most Baron teachers don't teach this as a separate stroke, but I feel that it's really important to break the stroke down on its own, as it's one of the most characteristic elements of the contemporary style of playing the Balron. I'm going to switch now to a close shot, so you can see what the tipper does in more detail. There'll be several different close shots from several different angles, so that you can get an idea of what's going on, as the stroke is a little more complicated than the other two. To execute the in-stroke, we're going to start in the set position, and then we're just going to use a tiny bit of wrist turn and also a bit of finger action to launch the tipper directly towards the drum skin. The best way I can explain this stroke is like it's the start of a downstroke, but you don't follow through with the forearm turn that would drop the head of the tipper into that down position. Instead, you're just going to let the tipper bounce back off the head and into the position that you started in, just like this. Now, a video is worth a thousand words, especially on this one, so please play along with me at a slow tempo first, and then we'll gradually speed things up using the metronome. I'll give you a look at what the in-stroke looks like from a couple of different angles first, so you can see what the forearm, the hand, and the fingers are doing as well.
When you're comfortable with all three basic tipper strokes at a fairly brisk tempo, putting them together to form different patterns for different types of tunes like jigs, reels, slip jigs, etc. will be that much easier, which is why we've taken the time to break each stroke down individually. Putting an extra work on the upstroke and the instroke like we just worked on will pay really big dividends in your progress as you go forth in your playing. Now, thanks again for tuning in for this episode of the Contemporary Bauron, and I hope you have an awesome day.